Hey, my name is Eric. In today's video, we're talking about Wix versus Squarespace and which website builder is right for your needs. So we are going to do a case study side-by-side -side breakdown. I've got some video of like trying to recreate websites using both services and a lot of in-depth details. But what I wanted to do is give you two helpful tools if you're looking at building websites and you're probably starting to poke around and look at other websites for inspiration. So if you're looking at this website right here, Terra Living, this is a pretty good looking website, right? They got an online store with Etsy. You can see they had these neat like glass enclosures with these like ecosystems inside of them, which I'm guessing is what Terra Living is. But if you wanted to look at the website and see what it's built with, what you can do is go to builtwith.com and then paste your website into the lookup bar here. And then what you do is you go down and you can look at a detailed uh, profile of everything that this site is using for its technology. And what you want to go to is content management system, this bucket here. And you can see that this was built with Wix. If it was built with Squarespace, that's where it would say Squarespace, WordPress, WordPress, etc. So this is just a really helpful free tool, not associated with them in any ways. Uh, I just use this a lot when I'm trying to find the technology that a website is built on. So if you see a competitor that you're in the market with and they have a website that looks beautiful, you can see exactly what it's built with. The other thing I thought you would find interesting is a tool called Google Trends. Some people are familiar with this, not everybody. So what I've done is I've already entered in a couple search terms here, Wix and Squarespace. So what you can see is that over time, they kind of kind of go through the same uh, progression here, but that Wix typically is trending uh, more than Squarespace. And interestingly, you can even see it by state that for whatever reason in Oregon and also Vermont, that Squarespace is um, favored in uh, Google searches, but the rest of the country, uh, it is Wix. Now, why is this important? Uh, in my opinion, what you can do is, if you're ever looking to make a purchase, you can see if a company might be kind of on a downward trajectory. Maybe you've heard of this website builder, it's called Weebly. If I add this one into the search results, you can see at one time, they were kind of in the same space. So if I was to back this out five years, what you would find is at one point, Weebly was doing very well, right? If you were going back five years ago, but now they're uh, kind of trending downwards quite a bit as far as what they're doing in the marketplace. And so to me, that's important because if you're picking a horse in the race, you probably don't want one that's slowing down towards the finish line because things like product updates or customer service and all those other things that they provide you are going to suffer because the service just isn't doing well and it's not trending in the right direction. So what I'd like to do at this juncture of the video is jump into a case study. What I decided to do is I took a local uh, coffee company, Daily Planet Coffee here in Buffalo, New York. And I wanted to mimic their website the best I could, but I was only gonna give myself 30 minutes to do it, just the homepage and seeing how much of this I could recreate for myself using both Wix and Squarespace. So when we go to the Squarespace site here and I'll pop it open here, uh, what you can see is it looks nice, but there's some issues with formatting. So the first issue also being, is I was really trying to go detail for detail. Like does the text look the same? Is it the same color? And you can see I have issues there. Then what I did is for the image, I couldn't really get this image because that was a custom image um, from that coffee company, but I wanted to put in a title and a button here. Had issues doing that, had issues kind of adjusting right there. You can see the text in the image here looks fine. I go down, we have the three images. I did not get to the maps or the footer in that 30 minute time frame. Now, if we go to Wix, uh, why don't we look at this uh, in the preview version? You can see I was able to kind of replicate this. One of the issues I had here though, was an issue with this image being able to stretch across the site. So you hear this a lot, right? It's uh, is it responsive? Does it, is it full width these images? I'm going to show you how to do that and kind of the little bit of frustration I had there. Uh, and then you can see the image and the text here, these, I was able to, in that 30 minute time frame, get a map uh, listing set up and also the footer as well. So just from an ease of use perspective, I think Wix is a lot better in that regard because you can make edits a lot quicker and faster. And the reason for that is that really with Squarespace, what it's doing is it's trying to push you and force you into a theme and then if you want to adjust anything you have to adjust it on the theme level so what i mean by that is if i want to change the colors i have to go in and modify the color palette here and then when i'm creating things that color palette is what is used as the guide so with wix it's very much a WYSIWYG editor and that means what you see is what you get so in this particular case, if I wanna change the font color here, all I have to do is double click on the font that I'm looking at. And this is the same almost if you're in like a Word document or something like that. And if I go to the color here, if I wanna make it blue, I can make it blue. Now, if I wanna make it bold, I can make it bold. And obviously, you know, things like alignment and things like that. If we're on Squarespace, again, going back to the editor here, uh, I'm gonna edit this. 
And you'll see as I double click on this text to see if I can make it maroon, like this one was in the original website on Squarespace, it's kind of difficult to do. Like I'm clicking the, the bold button, but it's not doing anything. And that's because I have headings and paragraphs that are already dictated for me of what they are going to look like. So what I mean by that is these are all your options for your text, but whatever you make that paragraph, I can't just easily go in and edit it. Like in this particular case, since it's a paragraph, I can make it bold, but I have yet to figure out how I would make this maroon. And now I know that I probably should have figured this out and shown you, but that's not the real purpose of this review. The purpose is to show you that it's kind of difficult just doing really basic things where on Wix, if I want to change something, if I want to move this menu button over here, I move it over here. Now, if I want to change the design of the menu button, I can go like this, 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 and change out the design and really go with a bunch of different features with that. Now, going back to Squarespace, if you recall in this section here, I wanted to have what they had. I wanted to be able to put in a menu button here. Now, going again to Squarespace, I really wasn't able to figure out how to do that. So it's very difficult because when I click the plus sign here, really what it's creating is a new section. But I was like, I want a button is what I'm really looking for. But if you were to do it again, what I would do is something like this. But the difficulty I have with this service is I can't like move the button where I want. It just kind of snaps everything into place, right? Uh, this is kind of how uh, Squarespace is built. It is a template and it's very modified. Like you have to stick within the template. Now with Wix, if I wanted another button, what I would do is I go to add, I click button and I could click a button like this. And then if I wanted to put that button down here, I could put the button down here. And then again, if I want to change the design of that button, I can easily do so. And you can see I have my buttons already custom designed and here's the button. So now if I want to, you know, link to something specific, I can say, okay, uh, I'm going to go to a certain page that I've already created. And then I can go to your drop down options and go to a page. Again, very difficult to do in Squarespace. I cannot just simply grab this button and bring it down to the next section. If I drop it in there, it just changed the color of it. And now it's really just gonna force it into a kind of template design that Squarespace uses. So really that's what I would say is if you don't wanna have any creativity at all in what you're building and you wanna just use a theme, stick to the theme, the theme looks nice, Squarespace is the way to go. It's just more of a modified approach. If you're looking for something that is a little bit more involved and gives you some options as far as what you can do, I think Wix is the way to go. And again, that's because you can just drag things around anywhere you want. If I wanna grab this social bar and move it underneath this image, I'm just gonna do that. If I go back to Squarespace, it's very difficult to figure out how to move things around. If I wanna change this image and move it to the right, I can't because this is already a templated thing where that image and text is meant to be on the left and right hand side and you're not meant to sit here and move content back and forth. So before I get into pricing here, I do wanna make mention that I do have links in the description below for these services. I may be an affiliate link so I can make some income if that's the case, I will make note of that, but I appreciate your support because it helps me make these educational videos and helps support my channel and my family and everything that I'm trying to do here on YouTube. So what I wanna talk about really quick is pricing. So we're on Wix here, it's $14 a month. If you're looking at Squarespace, you'll see that it's $12 if you pay annually, if you pay monthly, it's 16. So Wix is right in the middle of the pricing depending on if you're paying monthly or annual on Squarespace. Uh, really though, at the end of the, the year, you're probably looking at about 24 bucks or so of difference depending on which service you go with. So pricing wise, you're really fine. And I can give you a really good example of why. Uh, in 1996, I believe it was, it was when this site was made for Space Jam movie. And this website cost like over $50,000 to create in 1996. And it looks horrible. So if you're comparing that to some of the things you can do in the matter of a few hours on Squarespace and Wix for about 150 bucks, 200 bucks a year max, uh, you're really going to get an amazing looking site that looks nothing like this. But this is a real site that still exists. You can see it says 1996 down here. Uh, if you want to have some fun, you can go to the Space Jam website. It's kind of an internet relic, which is kind of fun. So I'm not sure why you're creating your website in particular, but if you happen to be a small business, this is something I wanted to make mention of too. Uh, if you're trying to drive traffic, just building a site is not going to get it done in and of itself. Uh, what I would recommend is you make sure you take the time to create what is called a Google My Business listing, because that's going to help feed a lot of traffic to your website listing. So in this particular case, you can see they have a great Google My Business listing uh, presence here. It's showing up number one when I search coffee, Buffalo, New York. If you're trying to set that up, pretty easy to do. Just go to google.com forward slash business. 
and then you'll be able to claim your business listing and that's really gonna allow you to show up well in this page right here. So the last thing I'll leave you with is there's a video on screen from Ahrefs, which is a local SEO video. So it's gonna explain how to optimize your site for local search if that is the space you're in. Uh, I highly suggest that because a website with no traffic, doesn't matter how good it looks, nobody's gonna see it. And again, thank you for using my links in the description below. I truly appreciate it. And I'll catch you in that next video.